Hey guys, my name is Justin Stumpf, and today I am going to show you how to get your files that you choose off the internet and send them to your SD card for your 3D printer. Now, two apps that I would recommend or that I actually use is called 3D Builder and Ultimaker Cura. Now, um, so basically what the 3D Builder does is it takes your files that you find off the internet and then it actually builds them and then the Cura obviously slices the, um, the file. Now, I, let's get going. A recommended website that I like to use is called Thingiverse. It's, um, most people probably know of it. And, uh, yeah, let's get started. Now, a recommended file that, um, or that I, and my dad actually did is he did a little tugboat. Now, let's get a little tugboat file going. I think this is the one that my dad did, so let's select it. Now, in this website, it, you can, sometimes the files, it's creators, you have to actually click download all files to see the files themselves. Uh, now, it's, it's very stupid. This reminds me of the store models that you can buy at stores. They sometimes come in many, many, many pieces. Like this one literally has 20-something. But sometimes, just sometimes in this website, you can get a file that comes in just all in one piece. Like the full part. So let's download the full part. And at the top right corner of your screen, if you have these two apps that I said earlier, you can just click download or open file. And it will put it inside of 3D Builder. Now you actually have to click this check mark, import model. And sometimes it may be like, hey, you have problems, you have to fix that. So in order to do that, you have to click this button at the bottom right corner of your screen. And this may take a few moments, be patient, which the whole part of printing is to be patient because this can take up to hours. Not the slicing, I mean the printing. Now give it a minute. And sometimes if you think it's taking too long, you can just click the X button and then reprint, refix it. That's what I'm sometimes to do. Come on, little guy, you can do that. Come on. Come on. Repair. I like it that I was telling you guys to be patient. Here I am, like, come on. Okay. You can do it. Okay, and then after that is done, like how so I am, then you can, you have to, you have to um, click the save button that looks like a folder or a file on the top right corner of your screen. Hit save. Now we can actually um, hit go into the Ultimaker Cura app to slice it, which how so I am doing. So basically, the idea is to use a 3D builder to build and then the Ultimaker Cura to slice them. The the um, file. You have to give it a minute, obviously. Okay, here we are.
So basically when you're here in the Ultimate Kakura, you obviously have to go to this file button, click, go to your downloads, which I honestly think I'm already there, but just to make downloads. You have to, okay, here's the, the Avenchi class, or not the class, but you know. Now, one, there's two things you can do to get in here. You can either double click, or in my opinion, it's easier to just, to just drag it to the right hand corner of your screen. And here we go. I'm about to post another video saying, hey, this is how this can work, but like how to make it bigger and move the coordinates. But in my opinion, this is actually the perfect size. So, once you have it done, you actually have to have your SB uh, cord in your computer. Without it, there's no point of doing this. And unless if you're very smart and you can actually connect your printer to your computer through Bluetooth or wires or something, you are probably good. But unlike some people like me, uh, this is I like to do the easy way, and I'm pretty sure most people out there are the easy way. So you can just click slice, and it slices. I have supports turned on. I will show that in the other video, which I will show you. And if you're confused on what supports are, they basically just are literally like pillars or supports. Basically, like pillars that fill in gaps. Like, if you look closely, here's the window. You need support, otherwise, you'll print spaghetti. And then you can click save to removable. And just to be safe, you can click eject. And that honestly should be good. Pop in your printer, see if it'll work. Leave in comments below if you have any questions for me. I will post another video here soon to answer all of your questions if you have any. And yeah, click like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a safe print and a rest of your day. Good. Bye.